Hello, in this video, we examine the converse of the Pythagorean theorem, and that means that we're, we're, we're sort of going in reverse. It's, it's, that's the basic idea of a converse. Um, so from the Pythagorean theorem, we know that if we have a right triangle, then we get a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Well, in the converse, what we're doing is checking a squared plus b squared equals c squared to determine if we have a right triangle. In the diagram here, you can see a, a rectangle, but what I want you to imagine is this rectangle is actually a diagram for maybe some kind of building that we're going to make. It's a very uh, well, pretty large building. I mean, it's 65 feet along one side and 72 feet along the other. So if I laid out these two lengths, let's say uh, with boards, I laid those out first, and I wanted to make sure that this rectangle was in fact a rectangle. I wanted all of the angles to be right angles. I wanted it to be a perfect rectangle. Um, when, when I get done, if I make another 65 and another 72, how do I know that that's a right angle at, at every corner? What if it's it's more like um, some kind of leaning parallelogram, you know, 65 by 72? That's an extreme drawing, but what if it's just a little bit tilted? How would I know? So the way that we can do that is we can lay a tape measure um, from one diagonal all the way to the other and measure that length and use the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. All right. So let's say I laid my tape measure across that length and I measured it and I found out that it's 90, um, maybe a little bit better drawing, 96 feet. Well, what would that mean? Would that mean that I'm okay or I'm not okay? Well, since I have this right triangle here, I can use the Pythagorean theorem to think about that and determine whether I in fact have the right angle that I want. So the legs would be 65, and 72, and the hypotenuse would be 96. So it's more like question mark rather than equals. It's like question mark. Is it equal or not? Well, squaring 65, we get 4,225. And then squaring 72, we get 5,184. And then adding those together, um, let's see. Oh, I'm getting a phone call while I'm doing this video, but I'm going to go ahead and keep going. We get 9,409. That's what it's like when you have a Zoom teacher. All right. And then on the right-hand side, just to check or inspect, we're going to do 96 squared, and that will be 9,216. So, in fact, no, it's not square. I would need to, to adjust that. I would need to fix that so that it was square. I can move my legs until it's square. I believe if you would do this problem by rather examining the length that you want, 97 feet would be what you want. So you'd have to square this building up or square, square these boards up until you have exactly what you want. That's the basic idea. 